Well, America's still retarded. Maura Healy won Massachusetts last night. Uh, I guess Fetterman, that weird uh, scoundrel-looking fucking gremlin, uh, won Pennsylvania. Apparently, they're not too fucking bright there either. Um, November is a horrible month for me, independent of the elections. Uh, but on top of it, uh, we just had the same thing that happened two years ago happen now because people don't have a brain and, and they're not awake and they're fucking morons and cannot learn from history, cannot learn from their mistakes. And now we're going down the same tube again that we were for the last two years. We're going to descend further into madness because everybody's a smooth brain fuckhead. Um, so on top of the elections, you have um, personal things in my life that happened when I was young, around 14. Um, horrible things that have happened, like you know, like loss of a family member. Um, I had all these bad memories of November my whole life. Uh, I had friends I thought that were my friends, but they were really just fake pieces of fucking garbage. Because, uh, you know, after, after knowing that this country in November is always chaotic in terms of politics and elections, then you couple that with my personal life and some of the tragedy that I've gone through, and then to learn that not only are your elections fake, but the people you grew up with and the people you thought were your friends were also fucking fake. Um, but I'm not really worried about that because most of them are still back in the same town that I'm from, probably playing the new Madden video game and fondling each other's fucking cornholes because they have no life and they probably do the same thing that they were doing when I was 14, which is sit around and play Call of Duty and eat fucking candy and Snickers and fart and just act like a bunch of washed out frat kids. So I'm not really worried about that or my personal life, but I just wish that growing up, everything wasn't as fucking fake as our elections. Um, Cause now you got the hunchback of Fetterman Notre Dame uh, that's probably going to ruin Pennsylvania, turn them into a bunch of vaccinated cucks. Um, and then you have Maura Healy, that disgusting fucking, she looks like a disgusting horse. Um, she probably fraudulently won the election. Mayor Wuhan probably helped her out too. Um, it's just absolutely disgusting. America's in serious trouble um, because everybody's a smooth brain fucking bonehead. Um, but yeah, no, the fall is never a fun time of year for me. November was never a fun time of year for me. And at the same time, I got my girlfriend who has her birthday today. So I have to like be happy and take her out, which I did. And we had a great breakfast. But what I'm saying is that November is like the time of year where everything good dies. Like everything that was actually useful dies. And then all the uselessness comes out. All the useless people, all the useless politicians, all the useless fake fucking elections. Yeah, no, I, and I'm swearing because I'm not happy. I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm already right fucking here with, you know, my mom dying on the 4th of November and then my girlfriend's birthday on the 9th of November. So I have to sit there and, and play, play fun and games and then I also have to watch the country get fucking robbed because a bunch of people don't know how to think critically, don't know how to think outside the box, and are a bunch of smooth brain, blue haired, lip tarred fucking Democrats who want to ruin this country by cucking and vaxxing every possible thing and vaccinating that tree, vaccinating that bee, save the whales, save the snails, go fuck yourself. Why don't you go move to China or Cuba? I will pay for your ticket today. You wanna bring your stupid little shit around, your pentagrams, your red hair? I'll take you by it and throw you to fucking Cuba. Cause that's where you belong. Maura Healy, get the fuck out of this country. We don't want you here. Get the fuck out of Massachusetts. And as for that fetter cuck, your days are fucking numbered in office because we're voting your ass out. We're gonna, pr you probably fraudulently won too. Either that or everybody's a smooth brain. I don't know, whichever comes first. Uh, but yeah, not a nice time of year for me. I try to make the best of it. I try to be happy for other people, but 
I'm up to here with the bullshit, the morons in this country, the, 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 oh, at least beta, at least beta cuck O'Rourke lost. Thank God that satanic piece of fucking trash lost last night. I'm so glad that everybody in Austin has to pick their beta signs out of the lawn because they're fucking betas who can't think. Dumbass motherfucker trying to put Beta O'Rourke into Texas. Are you fucking smoking Hunt Hunter Biden cigarettes? I really think that's probably what it is. This country's probably, they're all probably smoking Hunter Biden cigarettes and getting down on the fucking blue goo on the Democratic choo-choo. One way to hell. Because that's where we're going. Because nobody can think nobody's got a fucking brain anymore. Getting tired of this fucking shit, kid. Anyways, this was the Civil Savage 76, otherwise known as Rex Knickerbocker. I hope you have a better day than I do.